Russian nationalists demand from Kremlin that the country's nuclear missiles be aimed at U.S. cities. A group of Russian National Liberation Movement, NOD members, chanted and marched through the streets calling for Russian nuclear warheads and missiles to be pointed at American cities. The anti-Western nationalist group was seen marching through the rain while listing the warheads they want directed at U.S. cities. A protest leader shouts in Russian, Yaz, Samat, Poseidon, we are aiming at Washington, referring to RS-24 Yaz missiles, which can carry multiple nuclear warheads, RS-28 Samat intercontinental ballistic missiles and Poseidon torpedoes. Members of the pro-Kremlin Nod group, founded by Yevgeny Fyodorov, carried a black and orange striped flag with some, like the leader, pinning it to their shirts. The ribbon of St. George, which has a long history of commemorating World War II veterans, has become a symbol of Russian nationalism and militarism in recent years and in 2017 was banned in Ukraine. In a meeting with the country's foreign ministry leadership, Russian President Vladimir Putin warned, we have come unacceptably close to the point of no return, referencing Russia's threat to deploy nuclear weapons. John Isaacs, senior fellow at the Center for Arms Control and Non-Proliferation, a non-partisan non-profit aiming to reduce nuclear threats, told Newsweek in a phone interview that Putin's recent rhetoric and warnings are threats trying to affect NATO and US behavior. He added that in light of the agreement, Putin, I believe, is doing everything he can to pretend that United States, if you don't behave, you're going to suffer consequences. He said the threat is one of the few moves Putin has left. In the absence of some victory or taking over Ukraine, the best Putin can do is threaten. Isaacs said the United States should treat it as a false flag, a threat that is not going to be carried through, that cannot be carried through for Russia and the United States sake. If Putin started using nuclear weapons, he would die. So would a lot of people in Russia. A lot of people in the United States or NATO would die. In other words, it's suicidal for any country. A massive fire broke out at the asphalt storage facility of an oil refinery located in Erbil, northern Iraq. Due to the massiveness of the blaze, around a dozen firefighting teams tried to put it out. The cause of the fire remains unclear. According to Al Maluma website, 12 civil defense forces were injured in the blaze herbal-based Ruda New Agency has also reported the injury of several people in a large out-of-control fire at oil refinery fire. Ruda media outlet learned that several other refineries are located in the vicinity of the burning refinery. An eyewitness told Ruda that one person was injured and many others suffered from breathing problems but Ruda could not independently verify the information. I was close to the refinery. When I heard the sound of the explosion, here was a big bang, he said. Fire incidents are common in Iraq and the Kurdistan region. A fire broke out at an asphalt factory near Arbat town in the east of Soleimani in October, killing one worker and injuring three others.